finished my live for um, the season finale of Who Do I Can Enjoyment um, of Young Famous and African. So I just finished that. I put in my timestamps, so we're all ready to go. I hope you all hope you all enjoy. Still working on my um my eye line. Um, if you were wondering what was taking me so long, if you were watching my, if you're here from my um, YouTube review channel, you were wondering why I started so late on my live. Let me show you why. Let me show you why. She's here. Finally. Finally. It only took two freaking years, bro. But she's here, here, finally. Absolutely, oh, wait, let me get some light. Let me get some light. Oh, this is my favorite spot. I'm on the chase. Um, so it wasn't what we initially wanted because I told you guys we wanted the, um, um, trying to get, there we go. <laughs> trying to do my best. We wanted, the Ikea cloud dupe couch. Um, I forget what it's called, Havlander or something, Havlander. We wanted that couch, but um, when we went to go see it, cause we, I would watch all kinds of YouTube reviews on it. And I was just like, let me just go see it because me and my mom, we had like put it together. We had put the size that we wanted together. We saw that they could deliver it right away. And we were like, we want it, but let's just go see it first. We went to go see it in Ikea and my God today, it looked, it just looked like it was for an apartment. It also looked broke, busted, and disgusted. Like, it just didn't seem like it had a lot of life on it, you know? It didn't seem that well made. So we left there disappointed because that is a couch that we wanted because we wanted, like, a cloud couch, right? And that was the one that we wanted. We had put it together. We had picked the color. We, was like, we were like, this is it. And when we saw it, we were so disappointed. We were back to square one. And then um, my mom and I, my mom and my sisters... They came out for the weekend. We went to, uh, my mom wanted to go to Rooms to Go because she loved the uh, Sophia, is this Sophia Vergara? She had this dining room set, no, kitchen set, that my mom was just gaga over, okay? Um, I haven't said gaga in years. Why am I saying gaga over? That my mom was crazy about. And uh, we went to go see if they had it available. They didn't, but this bad boy caught her eye. This bad boy caught her eye, and uh, now it's here, and I love it. It's so comfy. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it in the description box. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's a good couch. It's a good couch. We got our chase. Holds on, holds on, holds on. This is my section right here. This is where I want to be all the time. This is where I want to be all the time. This is, you know, probably where my mom will be, the queen. Um, I'll probably, if this, if that is taken, if my chase yeah, if my chase is taken, then I'll probably be corner. I'm, I'm a corner or a chase. I prefer a chase, but I could be a corner girl if I have to, if the chase is occupied. So, so I feel like me and my little sister are going to get into it about the chase because we're both chase girls. So I'll just, I'll settle for the corner. Let me get some light in here so you guys can really see it. I know what it's like to suffer. Oh, that's, a, that's as bright as it's going to get. It's normally so bright in here. I don't know what's happening, but yeah. So this is this is the girl. This is the girl. She's taking forever to get here, but she's here. She's here. Like I said, it wasn't what we wanted, but um, this is a great compromise. Listen, um, it wasn't what we wanted, but I definitely think it's what we needed. We had our eye on something else that didn't work out. But look how God showed up. Listen, He may not come when you want Him. But he'll be there right on time, oh. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. So, yeah, we're getting it together. It's becoming a home. It's becoming a home. It's becoming, becoming, becoming a country home. Welcome to Georgia. I like it. I like it. I'm going to uh, be here a lot. I see myself especially on my chase. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Ow, ow. I see myself on my chase a lot. Like, you know, watching my shows, looking at my fireplace, luxuriating. It's cozy, it's comfortable, good for a family. I'm happy about it. 
Anyway, I'm going to make a smoothie for the road because we got errands. I'm going to take you guys with me this time. I didn't do it last time because I was just like, I'm just going to the post office and Target. I'm still going to the post office, but we have some other stores to stop to. So to stop to, to go to. So I'll take you guys there. Oh, that's my, that's my set back there. That is my uh, set currently until my uh, studio stuff gets here. But that's my set currently for, um, you know, where I do my lives and things of that nature. That's probably where, where I'm going to do Married at First Sight. I don't know. Should I do Married at First Sight here? This is mad cozy. This is mad cozy. I may do it here. Am I blurry? Like what? Hold on. I feel like I'm blurry. Oh, I hope I was not blurry this whole video. Let me look. Hey, precious. Hey, precious. This. <laughs> uh, um, Lee Daniels ruined that movie for black women. My God, to ruin that name for black women. You can't call a black woman precious now without her wanting to fight you. Precious, like I love mom, dear, precious to me. Anyway, so I was not blurry. I think I had this. Uh, filter feature on I'm, I'm still learning this phone but it's like a blurring thing and that's probably why I was looking like an emoji anyway <laughs> this is gonna be me this is gonna be me so we put our TV up bam 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 <laughs> it's cozy it's cozy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so nice. It's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. To have a firm furniture, firm couch, yeah, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> I love it. God is good. Let's go run some errands. It's smoothie time. What are we gonna make? You want a green one, Mom? You want a green smoothie? Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's do a green smoothie. Okay, so moment of truth. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Pretty good. So we have bananas, dates, avocado, kale, almond milk, and apple juice. And here, my mom, like when I gave it to my mom, she was like, why is this so thick? It's a smoothie, not juice. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I think the only thing that I would change or add is ginger. I wouldn't take anything away, but I would have added ginger. You like that? I could do it. Want me to do it now? Yeah, I'll add ginger. I'll add ginger to this. And, and more ice? <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add some ginger. I mean, I know this might be a lot for some people, but yeah, we're, we're black. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but we like ginger. We like ginger and we like the garlic. I'm trying to get it to... Focus. Yeah, but that's as good as it's gonna focus. So this is the ginger I'm gonna put in here. Um, and then I might just throw in some apple juice. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in some apple juice because my mom is just like, it's a little thick. I'm gonna organize this. I'm getting, my stuff is coming in from um, 
oh shout out to costco shout out to costco my stuff is coming in from uh they're called brilliant something i just know that it's um it's you know those clear containers that everybody really likes i forget what it's called brilliant something I, all i know is that they got them from target they didn't have the ones that i wanted in stock at store at the store so i had to um i had to order them so they'll be in soon we'll be able to organize this the way all the TikTok models do. Uh -huh. Let's see if this ginger works. All right, let's go. Okay, we're going to see if this ginger and a bit more of apple juice did the trick. Yeah, that was what it needed. That was absolutely what it needed. That was what it needed. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You'll enjoy this one better, Mom. Let me make it for you. <laughs> I am literally in this store to find a candle. Let's see if I even leave here leave here with the candle pray for me well, what's this see distractions distractions oh that's cute but i don't need it i don't need it i don't need it oh my god they got me they got me already with the damn pink um bakeware y'all know i love me some bakeware Ciao. stepping stepping good oh this is cute How much is this? Nikki, do you need it? I absolutely don't know. I don't need it. I don't need it. Let's be better. Let's be better. Let's be better. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, this is, no. Come on, candles. Go to the candles, girl. Go to the candles. Okay, I have my organizers coming, but there's nothing wrong with a little look at <laughs> oh, these oh these lazy boys right they call lazy boys easy boy easel easies what do they call lazies are these lazies lazy boys lazy slingy i don't need one right now that's where i get my um pasta from when I'm um, doing my holiday dishes, I always get like my uh, turkey pastas from here, my Santa Claus pastas. They always have like a little specialty stuff. Hair or Marshalls? Oh, this looks like it'll be absolutely delicious. But no, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm staying away from pasta. Oh, very lovely. Very lovely. Okay. Very lovely zibare. Nice. Nice. Yeah, but um, I always get my specialty pastas from here, or um, or Marshalls. And this is where last time I was here, I got my uh, juicer from here. This is this was a really good juicer. If you guys have it, the Breville Juice Pouting Plus, a really good juicer. And this is the uh, Dash. Um, this is the Dash Bunny waffle maker that I have, but it's still on the train to come here. So not gonna be able to have that for Easter. Oh, this is cute. How much is this? Cause I have this on my Amazon list and it's like 59 bucks. Oh no, not Amazon, William Sonoma. William Sonoma. Oh, this is nice. This is really, I think this is better than the one. I'm gonna get it. Damn it, damn it. I'm already messing up. I'm already messing up. Oh, a CBD candle. Okay. You better make my room smell fresh and get me high. Oh, I have this cup. I have this cup. I love it so much. I love it so much. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for the stars. I have it. Such a cute and uplifting cup. Hopefully, it gets here soon. Everything's on that damn truck. I used to be a Yankee candle hoe. And then I discovered Village Candle. And let me tell you something, they are just as potent, I guess, or just as evenly scent scented as um, Yankee Candle. 
So if you can't afford the 20 or something dollars, or if you don't want to spend that, you can spend $12.99 for a village candle. A great dupe. A great, great dupe. Still on the hunt. Still on the hunt for my scent. Everything is so faint. I guess because it's the spring, they don't want to put out strong scents, but I'm not paying no money for a, a scent that I can't smell. I need to fill up a living room. I might need to get a diffuser. Oh, what's this? Now, home goods. Why is this two hundred dollars? Why is this two hundred dollars? Is this for adults? It can't be because my butt can't fit it. In. <laughs> this has to be for a child. I feel like it's for a child. That is. That is, for is this for a child? Um, this chair? I can tell you. Okay, myself. thank you. Let me let me get up. <laughs> the year one. It is. For a child. Oh, it's for a kid. Okay. Yes. It's, it's for a child. It's for, furniture. Yeah, you, thank okay, you. I should have read that. I should have read that. I'm sorry. Thank no, you. you. Read that. <laughs> it's a serve. It's a serve. It's a serve. It's a serve. Home goods and Target. The best cameras. Y'all. Yes. Yeah. Mom, can you um pass me the sriracha when you come over? And my smoothie is right there in the fridge. It's in a red cup. Thank you. What do you need? What else do you need? <laughs> Mom, just bring me my stuff. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Ah, thanks. Anyway, so we're back. <laughs> we're back. Um, Home goods, you know, it was a cute little, little something, something. But we weren't really there to get a lot of stuff. That's for the plane. What, yeah, that's not that's that's planes for the that's snacks for the plane. You can eat it now. We can just get some more tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got a little something, something. I'm gonna show y'all that after I eat. I'm eating leftover lo mein. It's something about me and Chinese food. Like after, blow a little louder, please. <laughs> like I can't eat it the next day, but I'm gonna make myself eat this because you know, I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking. I may make a soup later. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I want to make a couscous soup for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to couscous. Yeah, Mom, you want to eat it. It's going to be delicious. Anyway, I think I might do that just to have something uh, for tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to eat it. I just, like, I can eat Chinese food the moment they make it, and that's it. Like, after that, I can't. And I don't know if that's Chinese-American food. It may be different in China, but here, it's not good the next day. It's not good the next hour. Anyway, I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to do... Um, show you. Did you start drinking? Yeah, that's my water. Like I'm not filming, right? Then I'm gonna do an unboxing, and then I'm gonna wrap up the night. Let's get into it. <laughs> So here is the base of my soup. I have some carrots, tomatoes, adding in some olive oil, um, carrots, tomatoes, celery, onion. I'm not going to put in my ginger just yet. I'm going to wait for um, the water to boil first and then I'll throw in the ginger. Here is the garlic that I'm going to put in and just mix around with everything that I'm going to fry for about a minute or so. And you might say, Nikki, hey, that's a lot of garlic. To you, I will say, baby, I could use more. Who the hell is this?
Okay, so I added in about, I don't know, six cups of water. I'm going to let that come to a boil. Now I'm going to put in my ginger, put my ginger in, and then I want to squeeze in some, oh, there we go, some lemon juice. Wait, it, okay, yeah. Then I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice from this lemon. Let this boil. When it comes to a boil, turn it down to a, like a medium simmer and let that cook for about an hour. And then after probably about 30 minutes of cooking, I'll add in my seasonings and uh, that will be my soup. I might add in the couscous separately because this is my first time um, working with couscous. So I might add the couscous in separately, but this is what it looks like underneath. So let me let that come to a boil and then I'll add in my other things. So I totally forgot, thank the Lord I looked in the, um, my freezer because I think I was trying to get ice or something. I don't know what I went in there for, but I thank God that I went in there. I forgot to add the main ingredient, which was the kale. This is supposed to be my kale couscous soup. Well, it's not, it's basically my kale soup, but I'm going to add in some couscous, 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 couscous to see how that works. So let that boil, take it down to a simmer. And now I am going to, my bananas are right, right where I want them to be for my smoothies. Is this ripe or is this, whatever it is, this, the sugar is coming out. So I am going to now just take them out the pill, put them in my Ziploc bag and freeze them. And this is what I'm going to use for my smoothies. So let it go. off to the freezer they go to freeze like these bad boys oh I, you know what i could have saved plastic and just put them oh okay well lesson learned lesson learned so it's finally at a boil i turned it down to a simmer i added about a cup of water maybe a cup and a half of water just because it cooked down so much what i do with this soup is i let it cook down for like maybe to about an inch like when an inch of water has evaporated has evaporated that's when i know that the soup is now ready so i'm just going to let it simmer for about a half an hour or so or until an inch of water has evaporated all i did was add um i added some polo so oh, there, there we go i added some um whatever this is chicken bouillon some garlic pepper a bit more olive oil some some regular black pepper and some italian seasoning i normally add like thyme and bay leaves but i just didn't have it and you know i wanted soup so i used what i had um so i'm just gonna let this cook down for about make sure about an inch of it is gone and when an inch an inch itch oh i'm getting tired when an inch has cooked down that's what i know i'll try it i'll taste it and see if it's ready if it's like the flavors are there if everything has been cooked down properly how i know that my soup is fully cooked is um like i said before an inch of water has evaporated or an inch of the broth has evaporated also i'm able to uh, slice the t potatoes and um, the carrots. So if you might have both or one, if you just, one or the other, it's fine. If you can slice the carrots with your soup spoon easily, it's ready. It's ready. Or unless you like them, you know, is it al dente? Crunchy. If you like your potatoes um, and uh, carrots crunchy, that's for you. So um, while that's simmering down, while that's cooking, I am going to, um, Oh, do the unboxing let's do the unboxing let me show you guys what i got at marshall's and then let me show you guys what was delivered throughout the week all right let's get into this unboxing like i said before this is just stuff that was delivered throughout the week stuff that i picked up yesterday and today so it's not really an unboxing just showing you what i got i guess um but some stuff is an unboxing some stuff i haven't really looked at yet um yeah let's get
get to it. The first thing I'm going to start off with is this Tom Ford um, package from Influencer. I still do reviews uh, for them from time to time when I have time. I kind of slowed down. Um, like around last year, just because the app was giving me a lot of problems, the site was giving me a lot of problems, and I just got frustrated, but um, I don't know what this is. And this is from Tom Ford, an influencer. It's an eye color quad cream inspired by Tom Ford's philosophy of sculpting features with light and sy symmetry. I was going to say symmetry. Symmetry. Eye color quad cream contours eyes with melting, magnetizing shades. These creamy, long wearing hues impeccably enhances eyes. This is this is a lot to say for eyeshadow. Okay, I will say I do like the packaging. Packaging. <laughs> I do like the packaging. Like this is cute. This is really cute. Okay, Tommy. Okay, Tommy. Gonna reuse this. Why not? Why in that box? Influencer, I will say, they give nice boxes for their box boxes. They give nice boxes. I'm going to repurpose them for Christmas. You know what? I'm going to repurpose them for um, Star Family uh, boxes. When I have to ship you guys out gifts and stuff, just because I think it's a, it's a good box. Why not? Now, if you get a Tom Ford box, no, just no. No Tom Ford will be in there, just so you know. So here is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see it. I hope you can see it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, nice. It comes in this little chocolate Tom Ford bag. Oh, this is really nice. This is really nice. But it's kind of like the Pat McGrath palette. Like, it's very sensitive to fingertips. I think this is a nice quality, right? But... You guys can make this that where it's not sensitive to fingertips. Don't make it reflective. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but it's, you know, it's cute. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I would, you know what I will do? I want to do a close-up with my iPhone so you guys can see what it actually looks like if it's coming up blurry on camera. But this is what... The... Don't worry, you're going to close up in the video. It's really nice. This is really, really nice. This is really, 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 really nice. Is it? Oh, it's an eyeshadow. It's nice. I don't want to mess it up. It's so pretty. I don't want to mess it up before I show you the close up in video. So I will say, again, you don't need the reflective material because the fingerprints getting everywhere kind of cheapens it. Or just ruins the look, in my opinion. Oh, here's what I got from uh, Home Goods. I got um, this candle. Maybe the see the bigger stuff focuses. This is what it looks like inside. So I got I got this candle. This was uh, twelve ninety nine. It is by Sand and Pauls. It is a mango tangerine um, scented candle. The reason why I like this candle is because it smells like. It's a mixture of Capri Blue. Um, you guys know the candle that I love that I get from um, Anthropology during their Black Friday sale. I get like 40 of those candles. It's not a game because they'll never be that cheap ever again. But this is giving me a mixture of uh, Capri Blue and Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. It smells divine. I want to put it here in the living room. I was going to use it for my bathroom, but... I want to take one for the team and put it in the living room because I feel like that's where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time anyway. Now that this is here, now that this is here, you know what I just realized? This doesn't match the color theme. The color theme is gray with a tinge of blue and marigold. This may have to go in the bathroom, but I'll burn it out here for a while. Um, the next thing I got is I stopped by Publix and um, I got some blue magic. I got some blue magic. Blue magic. Shout out to the black girls who would get their hair pressed on Easter Sunday and their mom would use this. I recently discovered this, uh, this discovered that um, blue magic is a really good conditioner. 
a really good conditioner. I have not used this since I was a kid. And the reason why I have not used this is because um, of trauma. <laughs> of trauma from getting my hair pressed and this thing sizzling my scalp. I just haven't looked back since um, I became an adult. But in my, you know, hair studies, I have uh, come to learn um, that this is a really good conditioner for your hair um, and your scalp. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a try to see if it actually works for me. But, you know, regular blue magic takes me back. It takes me back. Uh, next up. We have these little things. I told you guys that I'm obsessed with these. I'm obsessed with these Bath and Body Work um, room sprays. I got for this one, I got Champagne Toast. I got Champagne Toast, two Champagne Toast. Two Champagne Toast and Strawberry Pound Cake. I I'm telling you guys, I'm just, I just started working with this camera like two days ago. So just give me a minute, I'll get better. I'll get better. I just got that crazy filter off today. <laughs> I was looking at my old videos. I was like, what? Like, not my old videos, but the videos I did like two days ago. I was like, what is going on with my face? And then I realized I had it on blur something. It's called perfecting something. And uh, I took that off. So I'm learning. The quality will get a lot better, hopefully, when I can find out how to focus these freaking things. But um, again, I'll put everything in a close-up in this video. But I got two champagne toasts and one uh, strawberry pound cake room sprays from bath and body works they're so good they last so long i wish bath and body works made these things in bulk like a larger size and like sold it at costco i would buy the hell out of this if it was in a larger container and it and if it was sold in bulk at costco because i i just enjoy these they're really effective i use these more during the during the holidays but really like these to uh light up a room especially a bathroom especially a bathroom Soup smells good. Soup smells good. And this is what I also got. The reason why I got these is because I have these in my Williams Sonoma um, wish list. I think I have them in my cart right now because I was going to buy them. I was going to buy this William Sonoma copper measuring cups and uh, measuring spoons set. And it was like 98 bucks. But I'm a William Sonoma hoe, right? So that didn't really bother me. But when I saw this, looks exactly like the William Sonoma uh, copper teaspoon set that I was going to get, measuring spoon set that I was going to get. And it's $4.99. That's just too great of a deal for me to pass up. So I got these. Cute, simple, shatterproof. I'm probably not going to get the copper measuring uh, cups just because I saw a dupe, like the fashion girls, just because I saw a dupe on, um, on Amazon. And I think since I didn't get the measuring spoons and I got these, I'm just going to get the uh, dupe measuring cups. And, you know, put that $98 or something else. <laughs> something else at Williams-Sonoma. <laughs> the next thing I got is this. You, If you guys watched me or if you came over here from my um, review channel, you already know what it is. It is the La Le, Le Crusade Heart Pot. This is the Heart Cocote, the deep dish one. I also have the shallow dish one, but um, it's not here yet. <laughs> It's still on the train coming from LA. I'm gonna make a heart-shaped deep dish cornbread in this pot. But this is it. La Cousse. Here is what it looks like inside. It's a nice size. I actually did think that it was gonna be bigger, but no complaints. No complaints. Really cute. I got the La Cousse heart knob to go yeah, you guys can see it, thank God. To go with this, with my um, with my heart cocote or my heart pot. The gist is to put this on here. You know what I just realized? I don't think I checked the temperature of this knob. I don't think I checked the temperature, temperature of this knob. I will say, I thought it would be a bit more gold, more golden th than this. I should have got copper, but they didn't have this heart in copper. Anyway, I'm fine with it. It's gonna go right here. It's gonna look great. I'll show you how it works out later. But yeah, that's how it's gonna look. And I'm gonna put that on tomorrow, because I think I might heat up my soup 
in here tomorrow just to see how it cooks on the uh, stove top. Let me just tell you, my soup is finished. I tasted it. It is absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to add the couscous to the soup tomorrow. I got another box box from Influenza. It's this, Caress. Feel the difference with Ka oh, right there. Feel the difference with Caress. Um, wrap your body in a rich lather, leaving your skin feeling silky, radiant, and soft. And instead of sending me, why didn't y'all send me cocoa butter? Y'all know I'm black. Instead of sending me the cocoa butter one, they sent me the jasmine and lavender oil, uh, reset and rewind, floral oil essence body wash to review. Calming sweet floral, find your serene escape with the lather up uh, with the lather of our jasmine and lavender oil body wash. Reset and enjoy soft, fragrant skin. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot tomorrow. This is what it looks like. Let me see what this smells like. Is it? Ooh. Oh, I, I don't know. If this is for me. I'm going to try it. I am going to try it so I can do a review, but I think I might have to give this to my mama. This smell, it, it's giving, it's giving mature woman. I ain't that mature. So this next item, this next unboxing item that I'm going to show you is something that I have been searching for for almost a year. I saw this last year when it came out, um, like right before, right before Halloween, I believe, right before Halloween, and I was like, I have to get it, I have to get it. I was searching everywhere for it. As soon as um, I found it, it sold out in my cart, like everything else. I found it through resellers, but I just don't, I haven't bought a lot from resellers, so I just really don't trust that process yet. So I just waited and waited and waited, did research, did research. Um, I contacted the uh, company that makes this item, they told me they were sold out. They didn't know if they were ever going to get it in because this was a one-time thing. This was just for their holiday collection, and I could not find it anywhere. Color me surprised when I was looking on Crate and Barrel for something else, and this popped up through my Karma app that I have. And basically, with the Karma plugin, you can suggest, remind me, when this item comes back in stock in any of the stores that I have looked at, or just put an alert out on the internet and let me know when this comes back out in any store. So they put an alert out on the word and just stalk the internet for you for the item. So I'm on Crate and Barrel and up pops this uh, reminder that what I wanted is um, in stock, limited quality, at Crate and Barrel. And I simply selected it just to see, because sometimes with the Karma plugin or app or whatever, it does show that something is in stock, but as soon as you click on it, it's out of stock. So I was just like, let me just see. And when I saw that it was in stock, not only was it in stock, it was on clearance, I screamed. I screamed, I did a little praise dance, and then I purchased it. So, uh, <laughs> if you don't know by now, I'm a Lee Crusette Ho. Here she is. This is a Le Cru Le La, La Cruce. This is their uh, Noel collection. Um, I have tried to find the whole set together, but I, like I said, as soon as I saw it on uh, Le Cruce's website, it was, how the hell do I open this? It was sold out. So I couldn't find it anywhere, but with resellers. Now listen, there might be some people who get a lot of their uh, La Cruce. Hold on, how the hell do I open this? Oh, the wrong way, this is the wrong way. There must, there, um, there are a lot of people who get their La Crusette from uh, resellers. I, like I said before, I just don't trust that, that process yet. Um, maybe one day I will, but I do trust Crate and Barrel. I've been shopping there for years. It makes me feel like a bougie housewife, even though I don't have the bougie housewife coin, uh, but I'm bougie, okay? In here is what I got. Ah! The La Cruce, La Cruce, the um, Noel Collection Santa Dutch Oven, right? <laughs> Santa Dutch Oven. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Made in France. 
made in France. Oh, can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's so, look at the details. Look at the details. Amis, amis balls. It is five quarts, pretty deep. Pretty, pretty deep. Definitely using this for um, Christmas. This is probably the pot that I'll be using to like roast chicken, uh, make macaroni and cheese, a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> really excited about that. Only took me close to a year, but I got her, and I got her for $100 off. Then what resellers were selling it for? Resellers were selling this for ridiculous prices. I will say I did find a reseller on Amazon who was selling this for the price that um, La Cousse was selling it for when it first came out. So it was a fair price. I don't know why they would sell it for that unless they brought it deeply discounted. I don't know, because I'm just like, if you're a reseller and you're selling this, you're not going to make a profit if you're selling it for the same price that the company sells it for. So I'm going to guess that they probably got it for really, really cheap and um, from somewhere and decided to sell it for that price. So if you are interested in this, I will put the link for that reseller on Amazon um, and in Crate and Barrel if they still have any in stock. But here it is. It's on clearance, $100 off. Wait, child, I'm looking at my camera. I'm like, is it going to conk out on me again? Anyway, that is pretty much it. The last thing I have is this, and I was holding out on it because I'm just like, I've been very nervous about this. So if you're a TikToker, like I am, not me calling myself a TikToker and I only have two videos up, I'll do better. Um, I kept on seeing this, this, this wig, right? Everybody, all the natural girls were talking about this wig and how great it looks. And they had a sale uh, where I was able to get like 50% off. So I went and purchased it. <laughs> And I'm very nervous. I've had this for a week. I just set it on my counter because I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be disappointed. I've had terrible, terrible luck with wigs. I'm hoping that this is different. Anyway, it's from Love Me Hair. It says, enjoy your hair journey right here. Enjoy your hair journey. Enjoy your hair journey from now on. Signed, Helena the uh, founder of Love Me Hair. Really, really sweet. Okay. This is what the wig comes in. Nice, nice. I also got a uh, comb. You know, the black hair store comb. Uh, I got a coupon. I got a coupon, nice. Nice little $5 uh, gift card coupon. Oh. Your five dollar coupon, <laughs> um, and then yo, you down here because you want to see this wig, Miss Newsy. My mom's here. Then I also, oh, they love me, sent me some lashes. Nice, sent your girl some lashes. I hope you can see those. Sent me some lashes and this cute little baggie that has love me on it, right? Oh my gosh. I also got some press-on nails. Nice. Some matte press-on nails. Nice. You see the color? Like you're gonna respond. Um, what else did I get? And they sent me some hoop earrings. <laughs> some sparkly, let me take them out. Some sparkly hoop earrings. Ciao. Cute, cute, definitely giving she in. Cute, they give you a lot, a lot of little gifts, which is nice. Oh, there's, there's more, there's more. Oh, this is a thing for your phone, a phone hook. This is a little thingy for your phone. Oh, it's a Disney. Random, but it's a, a Mickey Mouse phone hook. Okay. Nice. And they love me. Oh, okay. This is cute. They love me. 
I love me hair clip. BZSL. Cute. Cute. Okay. I'm here for the cute little gifts. That's nice. I like the message. Great packaging on the box. Great packaging. Cute. Let's get into the wig. I've had such bad luck with wigs. I'm nervous. Okay. This is supposed to mimic naturally curly hair. It's a human hair curly wig. If it works out, I will put uh, the link and the coupon in the description box. I'm already a little nervous. I'm already a little nervous. You know what, Mom? This might work for you. Yeah, this might work for you. You can talk. It's okay. You don't, want, you don't like that? I don't know. I'm nervous. You know, I've had a bad experience with wigs, so we'll see. But it we has will a bang. see. It has a bang. The, remember, I used to try to cut my bangs in my wigs, and it was just a mess. So, hmm. Give it a chance. Let me give it a chance. It's a little tight. I'm going to loosen it somehow, some way. Okay. Pull it down in the front. Pull it down in the front. Oh, these hooks. Don't like wigs with hooks. Yeah, fix it. <laughs> um. Um. You got it crooked. I do? <laughs> You're not even giving it a chance. You I'm not saying I'm not giving it a chance. Child, cocaine is a hell of a drug. You sure, Mom? How, how, how am I doing it wrong? You gotta pull it down in the back. It's supposed to be a bang yeah. like this. I, I, you know what? I think I'm going. I, I mean, um. I feel like I could do something with it. Me too. I feel like I could do something with it. I need to get some, um, I think I want to wash it. Uh, maybe like do a co-wash with some conditioner and brush it out and see what happens. I think I could, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. It's not as bad as I thought that it would be. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to do my magic. I'm going to do my magic. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do my magic. I'm going to do my magic. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to put my stuff up. Am I returning anything? No, I'm not going to return anything. I think I'm going to keep everything. I think I'm going to keep everything. But, yeah, I'm going to put my stuff up. Put my soup up. Because that's for tomorrow. And then I'm going to get to... Bed. Oh, I got to pack. I'll pack tomorrow. I want to get to bed because I got a long day. I got a long Friday. I'm taking you with me. So get some rest too. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.